That has to go down as one of the weirdest football matches you'll ever see in front of an empty stadium there. But United absolutely pumping Lask 5-0. I was trying to remember the goal scorers there. Igalo, Dan James, Juan Mata, Mason Greenwood and Andreas Pereira there. United putting Lask to the sword in a game where I think in the last couple of years, those sorts of matches we've tripped up in. And in our last game away in Europe against Bruges, we struggled in. But tonight was a completely professional performance. It was weird as hell with an empty stadium. You could hear the players shouting, you could hear the coaches shouting, you could hear the ball as it smashed the back of the net after Igalo's wonderful, wonderful goal. But United are through to the quarterfinals now. 5-0, tie over, perfect position. And United with another five goals. United with another clean sheet, another win. This run is just continuing from United and we seem to be getting better and better. And tonight there, Igalo's goal was sensational. He juggled it three times on the edge of the box and fired it in, left-footed off the crossbar. Another assist for Bruno Fernandes, who has to be one of the most informed playmakers in all of Europe's leagues. And then Dan James getting that goal, his first goal since the 31st of August. 32 games he went without scoring. And that would have been a huge moment of relief for him. I think he's struggled with his decision-making this season. He's massively struggled for the fact that he's played so much football. But that goal would have meant a lot to him. And he's clearly a player who's a little bit down on confidence and that will make all the difference. And then United were just in cruise control. That pass from Fred for Mata's goal for the third was brilliant. Then Chong and Greenwood came on and they linked up Chong with the assist. A fantastic finish for Greenwood. 12 goals he's got this season. Five in the competition. And he's eight, is he 18? I think he's 18. Greenwood is having an unbelievable breakthrough year and goes to show that letting Lukaku go maybe was the right decision, certainly for Greenwood's career. And then even Andreas Pereira got in on the goal scoring. I think that was a bit of a keeper's mistake. But United there, in a game where the coronavirus was the headlines going into it. Empty stadium. Although there was one United fan singing away. 5-0. You've got to be happy with that. You've got, I'm trying to think of who the man of the match was. Probably got to give it to Igalo for that, just for how... Good that goal was. And Igalo, man, he's already scored as many goals for United now as Radamel Falcao did. Falcao was a lone spell, a gamble that didn't work. Igalo is working out. Four goals. He puts everything into every performance. And he's scoring good goals. Every goal tonight was sexy. Just really good football from United. Front to back. Another clean sheet. United rarely, really threatened by Lask. But... We go on. 5-0, we're through, I would say, to the next round, although I'm not actually sure whether there will be a next round because at some point it seems that UEFA will suspend both the Europa League and the Champions League, maybe pushing back Euro 2020 for a year because of the coronavirus. Who knows what's going to happen? But United needed to go there tonight and we needed to do a job and we did it brilliantly. And one thing I really loved there was United were 3-0 up, but going into the last five minutes... We weren't just sitting back and holding on to our 3-0 lead. Greenwood got the goal. And even in stoppage time, when we're 4-0 up, we're going forward and Pereira gets another goal. That's what United used to do. When it was 2-0, we didn't sit back, go into shape and try and hold out for the 2-0 win. We try and go for the third and kill the game that way. It's the way that United fans want to see us killing the games. And it's the thing we've done right there. You can't do that against City at home because it's City. But we did it there against Lask and it is only Lask in in the grand scheme of things but United have just in this run of form we've beaten City twice we've beaten Chelsea yeah beaten City twice beaten Chelsea and now we've gone and scored another five goals in a brilliant away performance in Europe in front of an empty stadium my man of the match is going to be Odi Nogalo for that unreal finish who was your man of the match let me know in the comments below but will the game go ahead in a week's time the suggestion is that it will, is it a week's time? Sod knows, but 5-0, we're through to the next round. Extremely professional performance, and what a goal that was from Odin Agalo. What a signing he's turning out to be.